two wins out of two for Midwest Bits. They sit at the top of the Absa Premiership, but they face a tough test tonight here against Orlando Pirates at the Orlando Stadium. Welcome, everyone. Live coverage here on your World of Champions. This is an early season top-of-the-table clash, given that uh, if Pirates win tonight, they will go on to seven points and will go above Bits at the top of the standing. It's early doors, of course, in this new uh, season but uh, a real clash of titans early on and these are two sides who will have high hopes of uh, winning the championship come the end of the season in may so a key match for these two teams now a chance on the counter motupa was uh, perhaps a little slow to find Matupu. this is great running here from motto motto back into the middle the striker with a shot and the touch over the top from uh, Siobhan Ponchane, who's been in uh, fine form over the last two games. He did very well against Chipper United and he was uh, also called upon to make some key saves on Saturday here in the MTN8. But here is the counter and the danger that uh, Stanton was uh, talking about earlier that Mitz pose. Yeah, Mark Cooper just managed to, to pick up that ball nice in midfield. Unfortunately, uh, with a decent effort on goal and uh, the goalkeeper was equal to the task, but as you mentioned, Mark, that counter-attack for Midwest Reds, spearheaded by Dion Hotto. This is great skill here. Oh, wonderful shot over the top. Motupa against his old club. Excellent effort. All the way from Keat. The little flick on that's standard Wits football that and then super skill Chukamanja try to uh, nick that away Miami gets the cross in Alexander only as far as Mlambo Yatama Topola beat the one challenge dragging it back good turn here from Mulenga a lot of traffic there for Shonga, but both Zambians had an opportunity to turn there and to fire it in, and uh, well, that must be down as half a chance, one would fancy. Yeah, possibly uh, wrong decisions taken there, but a lot of numbers in the box for Vitz, making it very difficult for the Atlanta Pirates strikers just to pull the trigger. did well to get around the back of the defence, drag it in, good turn here from Mulenga, but then maybe not on his favourite foot, then Shonga, the block eventually came in from Ukonazi. Clock says three minutes now, plus whatever stoppage time the referee uh, decides to add on. We just had that one injury to Mulenga, which uh, stopped the clock. Now, Clancy's given it away, Shonga is onside! Keep makes an important save. Another let off. Well, let off in the sense that uh, Pirates didn't score, but that is some great goalkeeping from Keats. Just momentarily switching off here. Atlanti just uh, being a very untidy, and Shonga just a one touch too much. It looked like his, his focus is on the ball and not really on the goalkeeper. Keeper Pule here in the middle. He turns. Gets the better of Renate, now Vincent Pule, bearing down a goal! Strikes the upright! Comes out and will be a Vitz ball. What a shot from Pule as the defensive Vitz was just backing off. You see Orlando Pirates just playing it through the midfield. A neat touch there, somewhat fortuitous from Pule. He just carried on straight as the defence went back and uh, so close. Just shaved the upright. Uh, got off to a bright start. He has Domingo. Now beats Nyatama. Ball in and they've scored! It's taken a wicked deflection and Hashim Domingo has given the lead to Bitvesvitz. 80th minute of the game and Orlando Pirates having done most of the pressing forward suddenly find themselves training is this an own goal or is this credited to Domingo as long as it's on target doesn't matter about the deflection gets past Yatama that's a wicked own goal off Shitolo brilliant first touch uh, 
was intelligent enough just to touch the ball in front of a defender. Johannes gets ahead onto that. Bonare biting away. This might be a chance though for Marco. Puts it over the top. Five minutes we hear are going to be added on by the referee. That was a great effort from Marco. Just going into the box and uh, maybe just a, a rushed shot. It was always rising. And it looked like that Darren Keith had it covered all the way. Long ball from Keith forward. That's it. So an upset win here for Bitbay Smiths with an own goal from Shitolo in the closing stages. And they grabbed the spoils. Three more points. They're very much top of the table. Nine from their opening three matches. They've beaten Pirates by a goal to nil here at the Orlando Stadium. Congratulations, coach. You've got the three points, but there were times in this matchup where you were a little bit frustrated. You said um, in the cup game for Orlando Pirates, you felt that they were unlucky. What is your feeling about your team's performance tonight and that of Pirates? Fantastic. Let them have the ball. They'll play the all day. You know, and then we just got to look after the long ball the big long ball into the box all day, which we did. Uh, but if, if we let them have the ball there, you know, we're not going to, once we start to go out and press it, then we got problems. They'll play through you, one or two passes. So we didn't, I said, you know, I said to the players, just drop out. It's totally opposite the way we would like to play. But I mean, it's what, what, what's the game about? The game's about results, isn't it? So, you know, uh, you can talk all day and say what you want. At the end of the day, we had two great chances in the first half we should have scored, and they had a great chance they should have scored. So that's 2-1. Then they had a chance either, so two, two chances. That's only two chances they had all night. And we had two chances, well, we had three, and then we scored. So what more do you want? But I mean, ball possession must probably 80 20. What counts? Two Ps. Uh, you look at the commitment as well from your players, the man of the match. It's really ticking. The combinations are working just right. We're a little bit short in areas because we've got, you know, Scott is out long term and Glasson uh, is out. So we don't have much in Ashim. You know, for me, he's a hidden gem. How he hasn't played for Bafana, it's a, it's a disgrace. But that's why, that's what happens. You know, and, and players like that, they, they, they get lost. He's a fantastic footballer. And to prove the game tonight, he was brilliant the last, you know, the last couple of weeks for us. And he will can only get better and better. The substitutions that uh, you've instituted, giving you more options as well. Yeah, look, I mean, we changed the shape of the team. We had to, went a little bit narrow at the back and changed and went two up. And we tried to play off, play off the axis a little bit better, which I thought in the first half we didn't do well enough. Um, the ball wasn't sticking in the front, and once it doesn't stick, you can't, you've got no chance. You can run all day, and the ball's got to stick for our midfield to get on a little bit. So it was just a different type of game, but I knew I said to the players, just be patient, it'll cut me, you'll get chances here. You know, you'll get chances. Well done tonight. Thank you. Excellent stuff. All right, so a bit best of it. All three points. And uh, as the coach rightfully said, it is the goals that count. But we have to feel for you, coach, because you look at um, the dominance of Orlando Pirates here tonight. Some of the glaring chances. You must be extremely disappointed with the result. Very disappointed with the result, but uh, approach that we had, uh, that we had passion build up in order to tire our opponent, in order to find uh, the, the uh, chance to eliminate them and to reach and create the chances. We have created the chances, we have been dominant side in all our statistical aspects, but the, the only one, the most important aspect that is counting, and that is that goal from an accidental situation we conceded, and this is what cost us. Accidents in football uh, happen. Uh, we need to accept it. We need to see uh, to be much more effective in going forward, much more effective in creating more chances because from chances that we have created, we could easily win the game. However, one moment lapse of concentration, uh, and this is how it is in football, uh, cost us that we concede that accidental goal and uh, losing the match. When you look at um, some of the opportunities that we, that we had counted in, do you think that now a lot of the focus, a lot of the impetus is going to be on a new addition on your technical side, Stefan Adam, and the finishing? Absolutely. This is exactly There is no magic stick that you press the button and things are working immediately. We need to improve very much. We need to be much more effective in front of the goal because we could not... Uh, uh, put ourselves in situation that one accidental goal um, practically destroys all the effort of the team, dominance and all other positive things that they have done throughout the game in, uh, from our team. So we need to put emphasis and focus on that. We need to regroup, go back to the drawing board and for the next match in Sunday against Bluefontein to prepare much better. That's right. To keep working, coach. Um, best of luck for that one. Thank you.